Exact Track 4D constantly scans for new threats in your neighborhood, alerting you faster than ever when severe storms are heading your way. Think we'll get down to the 70s tonight? Ooh. We'll definitely see the 70s. Uh, as a matter of fact, some folks are already seeing those 70s. Really? But wow. We're, but we're going to see it with cloudy skies. It'll wow. start to clear out here as the rain starts to end. But um, the mugginess is going to continue. And under that northeasterly flow, there's more of that to come. So our stormy pattern, it kicks off today. We'll start first with some of the lighter thunderstorms, but decent rainfall stretching from Baxter, Boggy, all the way over to St. George. And as you see, we've got Kent lined up there with some of those downpours. I put this into motion, but it's sitting in the same area. So the line that we have here already picking up almost about a half inch. But to the south, where we've had a few more of those downpours come through, we've exceeded an inch. That takes us from southern uh, Charlton County here over to Stokesville County as you get into Baker County. We'll move from there where we've been tracking some of the wet weather and a pretty good round. That swath that extends over Yulee, out through Hedges, just south here, Becker, out through 200 of O'Neill and Nassauville seeing some of the lighter stuff. And same idea if I put this into motion, basically just sitting right here. It was spreading over Hero and has since moved over US 17 versus that of I-95. And you'll see there where it starts at Hero and then back over toward Yulee. Kingsland, Catfish Acre, Flea Hill, Coal Rain. That line here continues slowly to wind down. We're not seeing as much of the vibrant colors. A couple of areas that are left from Crandall over to Catfish Acres and the 95 corridor where we're still tracking some of the heavier rainfall. And here's what we're watching as what we had in and around Waycross has since lifted to the north and will continue to move out of here. It's up around the Blackshear, north of uh, Blackshear, almost lateral here to Alma and north of Patterson, just almost out of the area here for southeast Georgia. And to the south, where we've been watching a couple more of the downpours, these have started to lift to the north. They were along the southern part here of Crescent Lake. They've since moved over Crescent City up around Pomona Park, stretching over to Andalusia as we go from Putnam and into Flagler County. And the rainfall here, same idea, anywhere between a half inch up to about an inch of rain thus far. The wind gusts have started to pick up. Mayport, the airport north, we're 25 there for St. Mary. But some of the strongest that we've been seeing, and I've been bringing up the uh, tower cam, from St. John's County with the whipping of the wind there. We've had about 14, 15 mile an hour winds. We're at 14 right now. We're 85 still feels on the plus side. That's 75 and 77 percent humidity really bringing in the heat, although we've cleared out of the clouds, but you can see the fronds and old glory back there is still standing tall. So it definitely looks like with the elevation, with the height where the flag is sitting, we're seeing a lot stronger winds than that 14 mile an hour flow. There you go. St. Mary's with the rain coming through in the 70s. McClenny way across over to Lake City right Right now we're still in the 80s and those temperatures will slowly start to slip away as those numbers are coming down to less than seasonal averages part of the byproduct of what will be the cloudy skies and that onshore flow bringing in daily rainfall rates so what we're seeing here this 11:30 for friday whether it's about a third of an inch half inch there for jacksonville or almost an inch in brunswick it started tonight continued through thursday now we're into friday moving into saturday and the areas that we're watching here these spots in the yellow and the reason is because we've got this um, frontal boundary, a trough that's going to be offshore. We could see some of that heavier stuff migrating a little bit closer to our coastal zones, and that would certainly increase the rainfall rate anywhere from St. Mary's northward here through Brunswick. So we'll be watching these areas here over the course of the weekend for what could be some of the heavier rainfall. Mid 70s will take us overnight tonight, and that's where we'll start your Friday Eve with those increasing rain chances developing and building through the day, like our normal pattern, bringing in the heat up to about 86 degrees here for tomorrow. That's enough to help to generate some of those storms. And that's where we'll max things out at that 50 to 60 percent. And then it's that 70 percent chance, 70, 80, and as much as 90 here to the south that'll pick up and keep us on the soggier side of things here for this weekend. The pattern starts to break down Monday as so we get back to the work week. We'll wait for some warmer temperatures in some of those sunnier skies around midweek next week. Richard, thank you.